All right, guys, so this morning I'm just working on this idea here. I see this kind of thing a lot. Um, it could be animated uh, text going around in circles or these broken kind of borders or whatever you like. And when I started looking at it, and there's a lot of caveats and a lot of things that you need to know to do this well. Um, so I'm going to split this into two videos. This first video, I'm going to just show you the basics of how to do it. I'm going to share the code so that you can actually do it yourself if you want to. In the second video, I'm going to show you how to create the SVGs for these using Adobe Illustrator and then how all the actual code works. And it's just basic CSS. All of this is CSS and SVGs. Um, so we're going to basically have a look at doing what I've got here. Now, heading over to Bricks Builder, um, I've got a structure here where I've got a, uh, a wrapper and I've got a couple of classes added to it. So animated stamp and animated stamp wrapper. Um, I've got a heading, uh, it's a basic heading element. Could be, that could be an icon, could be an image, could be whatever you want. doesn't really matter. Uh, I've then got a basic text box uh, and I've just put an SVG in there which I've created an illustrator in a particular way. Um, and that's got a circle one element and an animated uh, stamp element. Uh, and then I've got the circle two, which is basically the same sort of thing, different SVG, and I'm using my animated circle two. So that's the structure. Um, I've actually just saved these SVGs to a notepad document, so I can just do this quick demonstration. So I've just got those in a notepad document here. So I'm going to delete all this and start again. And I'll show you how this works with the code. Uh, and then later on uh, in the second video, I'll go into a lot more detail. So this is just getting you started if you just want to do this and you're okay with generating your own SVGs. So I'm going to start by just deleting all of that structure. I'm going to then add a div. Uh, didn't go in the right place, stick it under the container. And while I've got that div select, I'm just going to delete those classes I created. Okay, so if we look in our code block here, which I'll share, I've got a code block here for X animated stamp, and that's our block. I always put X in front of external classes so when you create a class in the bricks class system I use B dash anything external I use X so I know it's not created in bricks so my X animated stamp here all that is is a bunch of variables which we we'll use throughout so I'm going to just copy that name without the dot go back to my bricks paste oops paste it into into here and press the enter key Okay, and that's giving me a global class that I can allocate to this element. Um, I'm also going to lock that because I don't want to be able to add anything to this um, because I'm actually doing this all through external code. All right, I'm then going to go back to my code block and I'm going to grab my wrapper class. Back in here, and I'm going to add that class as well. Just paste it in there, press enter, and then I'm going to lock that as well. Okay, so there's the basics. Now, the next thing we want to do is just stick a heading element inside there. Uh, actually, let's go for an icon. Let's stick an icon element in there. Uh, let's just stick an icon element. So, we've got an icon element in here in the center of this wrapper. Okay, and already you can see it's given us some style. We've actually got, I'm not sure we can see it from. Yeah, I think we can actually. Let's have a look in the layout. Yep. Yeah. Bricks is really great. It actually, even though you didn't assign these properties in Bricks, it gives you an indication of what that setting is. Uh, and it's showing me, and I can't change it because I've locked it, which is great, showing me I've got a padding of 40 on there. So that's really good. So under that div, I now want to add a basic text element. And in that basic text element, I want to add my SVG as content. So I'm going to go to that notepad document. I'm going to grab all that first SVG. And I'm going to paste that in there. So that's my SVG. 
and you can't see the SVG yet because we haven't got any styles on it. So I'm going to back to my code block. I'm going to grab the animated circle one and go back to bricks. I'm going to add that as a class, animated circle one. And I'm going to lock that. I'm also going to add my um, my animated stamp class because that's got a bunch of variables in it that we want to override a little bit later down the track. Okay, and already we've got our first one going. How simple was that? All right, so then I'm going to basically duplicate that. I'm going to grab the other SVG. Paste that into that basic text. Um, and I'm going to take this circle one class off, leave the stamp on there. And grab the animated circle two. Add that class and lock it. Once you've added it, you can just select it. But the first time you've got to lock it. So, all right, so now hit the save. Now, we've just created our first animated section, right? So it's as simple as that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is just show you how we can style this. So if you wanna style it globally, so everywhere you use it, you can go to your code block and you can update these variables here. Update all these variables to sit with how you want this to be by default. So if I change that blue there to maybe this uh, yellowish color, Yellowish green, update that, and then refresh. Now I've changed that globally, right? What if I want two of these, but I want them different? So I would then go to this whole block. Let's call that our, um, uh, we call it stamp. Call it our stamp block. I'm just going to duplicate that so we get a second one down here. And on that second one, I'm going to say that I want the first circle. So just save that because I didn't refresh after I made that change in the code. So we can see we've got our updated colors there. So that first circle, I want to change the color of that segment there, the outside segment. So if I look at my code here, I've got circle one, which is my outside one, my first one. I've got colors and I've got sizes. So if I grab this variable here for circle one, stroke one, SD one color, copy that, come back to my bricks builder. So while I'm on that, on the circle one, go to my style, CSS, root. Here's my variable and what color they want that to be? Blue. Okay, now it's blue on that one. Okay, now as you can imagine, there's two, so I want to do ST0. Make that red. Okay, so now I've got blue and red. If I make it orange, I've now got blue and orange. Uh, da, 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 ST0. So, there we go, so I've got blue and orange. So I've got ST0 and ST1. What if I want ST0 to be larger? So what do we got over in our... So ST0 width, it's on five pixels. I'm gonna grab that, copy that, stick in my builder, circle one ST0 width, we'll make it uh, 15 pixels. All right, now we get a nice big orange segment there. Okay, we want the other one to be smaller, so ST1 or stroke one, let's make that three pixels. Okay, now we've got a nice thin blue, and we've got a uh, nice big thick orange. So all of those variables can be overridden. Now the caveat here, see I'm targeting circle one here. When you go to circle two, I'm just gonna copy that. When I go to circle two, and by the way, you can't do this on the 
um, classes. This is for individual elements. So get rid of that off there. So here's my circle two. Um, we've got to change that there to two, 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 two. And they're both the same right now. Maybe we'll make that green, green and purple. Okay. And let's say we want the width of one of them to be, the other. well, let's reverse those, make it 15 and three. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to circle the green is 15 pixels, the purple is only three pixels. Save that. All right, there you go. So we're using exactly the same structure, exactly the same code, same SVGs. All we've done is overridden these variables on those elements. Um, so I think it's really cool. I'm going to stop here. Because um, there's a lot to this. There's a lot of caveats in how we do this and, and things to know about SVG uh, and creating this in Illustrator. Um, so I'm going to leave this here and I'll do a second video which goes into more detail. If you just want to use this, um, I'll share the code with the uh, CSS and the two sample SVGs that I've used for these. And you can go for your life. Um, if you want to know more, then watch the next video after this. So if you like this kind of thing, please hit the share, please hit the like. Thank you.